not too sure if you can tell by the video, but uh, here's another tip that I like to share with fellow farmers is um, try and avoid the daytime. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird, but bear with me. Um, right now it's about nine o'clock at night and uh, I did a fair bit of work on the farm today, some irrigation stuff and the likes. But what I've learned is, especially when you're farming in the summer, it just gets so hot. And what that can do is give you a lot of heat fatigue, even lead to heat stroke, and it's just more strain on your body than you really need. If you have to do it, you have to do it, I get it. But I like to parse up my day. And so for example, right now I'm going to a plot that I'm working on uh, in my front yard where I wanna add more beds. Now what I have to do is I have to do this by shovel. I have a small scale farm, so I don't have the opportunity to have a tractor or anything. And so I have to do this by hand. And so behind me, you're gonna see that I have this new plot and part of the challenge is that I have to shovel each one of these rows by hand. Now if I do that, even early in the morning, it leaves me drained for the rest of the day. And so I have started getting better at scheduling my day and thinking about what's a work intensive process like shoveling. Um, not so much transplanting, but definitely the hardest labor. I also have a bunch of sod behind me that you might be able to see, and I gotta move that sod. Now's the time to do it when it's nice and cool instead of doing it in the middle of the day. So try and plan your day. I like to leave strenuous stuff at the end of the day. Um, you know, working in the greenhouse, you do that in the morning. Uh, these are the kind of things I didn't think through, and scheduling my day so that I can maximize my energy without abusing my body is something that I really focus on now. Hope that helps.